This possibly is one of the nastiest places on the planet, but there's another creature here which actually eats these cockroaches for breakfast, and it's them that we're here to find. But to find this cockroach killer, I'm gonna have to descend even further into the darkness of the cave system below. This place is definitely not for the faint-hearted. And it looks like my next critter has already had its breakfast. Ugh. Of all of the horrors that live in this absolutely nightmarish place, down here is perhaps the most frightening, and it's the animal that I'm suggesting for the Deadly 60. Oh, crumbs, I have to say, I absolutely hate them. Here you go. <laughs> that one just ran over my hand. Okay, right, I'm gonna be more gutsy this time. Careful, there's one on the other side of that rock. This is Scutigera, or the long-legged centipede. I think there's another one on the other side of the rock as well, so I'm uh, being very careful about how I handle this. It is quite venomous. One of the guys who was living in the area here was bitten by one of these centipedes not so long ago and spent a week in hospital, so I'm taking a lot of care not to get bitten. They actually have, like most centipedes, oh, they just run over my arm. <sighs> Sounds obvious, but one of the main challenges living in a cave is the dark, the fact that you can't actually see anything. And Scutigera still manages to be an incredible hunter by using its long legs. Ugh. You can see as it moves, it'll just stop and tap some of those legs over the rock surface. What it's doing is using each and every one of those feet to feel everything about the surface it's moving on building up a real mental picture of its environment and if there's anything there that it might be able to eat. It can grow as long as my forearm, has a mightily venomous bite and with those long legs there's nothing down here that can escape it. Nothing that's more guaranteed to give you nightmares. So Scutigera is going on the Deadly 60 and I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs>